Hi, I'm Eric from Chevrolet. I'm going to show you how the all-new Silverado is designed to help give you control over a variety of driving conditions with a choice of transfer case technologies and drive modes. First, let's talk about transfer cases. Many of you know that a transfer case is used in four-wheel drive vehicles to send power to both the front and rear tires. Equipped, it gives you the ability to shift between two-wheel and four-wheel drive to make your truck adaptable to any driving environment. Silverado offers two four-wheel drive transfer cases, a single-speed transfer case that features two high and four high settings, and a two-speed transfer case that features two high, neutral, four high, and four low settings. If you have a single-speed or two-speed transfer case, you'll find that controls are located just left of the steering wheel. Your Silverado owner manual tells you what each two-wheel and four-wheel drive setting is used for and when to use it. What's the difference in these transfer cases? depends on your truck's needs. If you need the four low setting or the neutral setting for flat towing, then the traditional two-speed transfer case is for you. There's a new procedure to put the vehicle into neutral. By pressing the two high button five times within 10 seconds, it will disengage the transfer case to allow flat towing Silverado behind an RV. Make sure you consult your owner's manual for the step-by-step -step procedure for flat towing. In addition to your normal transfer case settings, Chevrolet developed drive modes so you can customize your driving experience based on desired traction and performance. For instance, terrain mode provides the benefits of four-wheel drive low without adding the weight of a secondary gear set. Terrain mode is available only on vehicles equipped with a single-speed transfer case. The transfer case must be in four high to enter terrain mode. Terrain mode optimizes low speed driving on rough terrain, similar in operational functionality to four low but without the same torque capabilities. Use terrain mode when you're traveling on very rough roads at very low speeds, such as two track or heavily rutted road, and even pulling a boat out of the water. At speeds below 18 miles per hour, when you lift your foot from the accelerator, Silverado will automatically apply light braking, similar to heavy engine braking of four wheel drive. In drive, the vehicle will apply light braking until the vehicle is at idle speeds. In manual L1 and L2, moderate braking may stop the view. Let's take a look at the other available drive modes on Silverado using the drive mode selector knob. In addition to the terrain drive mode, there are five other drive modes available based on your vehicle's equipment. They are tour, sport, snow, off-road, and tow haul. A light will indicate which mode you are in. All of Silverado's drive modes automatically adjust various vehicle control systems based on the drive mode you select. There are two different drive mode selectors and you can tell which one you have by looking at the selector itself. If it has graphics on the dial, turn the dial to the desired graphic to select it. Vehicles without drive mode graphics on the knob will have a menu selection screen in the DIC. To use the modes, simply rotate the drive mode control knob on the left side of the instrument panel. When you reach your desired drive mode, stop and it will stay on that mode. Let's take a look at each drive mode and when you should use them. Tour mode is a default mode. It's best for everyday, normal driving conditions and provides a smooth, soft ride. Sport mode enhances the driving experience when on dry pavement, delivering a sportier drive. Use sport mode where either the road conditions or personal preference demand a more controlled response. When in sport mode, the vehicle will shift automatically, but may hold the lower gear longer based on braking, throttle input, and vehicle lateral acceleration. Snow mode is used when more traction is needed during slippery conditions. The acceleration will adjust to help provide a smoother launch. Off-road mode changes the traction control and anti-lock brake system for optimal off-road performance. This helps provide excellent handling and more capability, especially in challenging conditions at moderate speed, such as in sand, gravel, and mud. Finally, there is tow haul mode. Tow haul mode is most useful when pulling a heavy trailer or a large or heavy load through rolling terrain, in non-stop and go traffic, and in busy parking lots where improved low speed control of the vehicle is desired. Tow haul mode changes the transmission shift points to accommodate for the load, so you're in the right gear for improved acceleration, reduced shift cycling, and better control on grades. Silverado's drive modes allow you to tailor the ride for whatever you need at that moment, all with the push of a button or turn of a dial. If you have any more questions on Silverado's transfer case technology or the drive mode control, see your owner's manual.